All right. I finally got this. Uh, I was actually going to come uh, tomorrow, but they tried to deliver it while I was at work. So when I got home, I ran straight to the post office to uh, uh, grab it right after work, and I got it. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. So here's the Pandora's box six. And uh, this knife isn't big enough. <laughs> and I just... Did I knock my camera? Probably. That, that didn't even cut through it. <laughs> so this is how you get it. A lot of stuff from China tends to come like this. I need a bigger knife. You know, normally these knives are a lot sharper. I don't know what happened with this one. Uh, my mic just fell off. Hold on one second. I lost the clip, and now I'm using tape. Okay, fix that, hopefully. Let's get it, stay on there. I, I used heftier tape because I thought it would work better. I used electrical tape. Not good enough, just like this knife that I have. All right. I think I need a sword. Um, let's see here. Let me get the. Ah, damn. This knife sucks. All right. And I wanted to leave the plastic. I, normally, I take something like that off, but I wanted to show what it looks like. Uh, when you get it in the mail. And, uh, I am so sweaty and I smell like a fucking horrible, like dead corpse or something right now. So I really have to hit the shower, but I'm not until I do this. And I think I opened it upside down. There you go. <laughs> Here's an upside down unboxing. Some foam. The Pandora's box upside down. Let's see what it actually comes in it when you open it right side up. <laughs> Overly excited to open this. Wow, I didn't realize it was pink. Hey. Oh, well, uh, I'm changing that out anyways, so. <laughs> um, VGA cable. Yay, I'm not going to use that. HDMI. I think, or USB. No, USB. USB 2.0. Yep, USB cable, power cable, and they did send the correct, uh, uh, yeah, America stuff, America adapter thingy, here's the adapter, and HDMI cable, I don't really need it, but another HDMI cable, um, instructions, I guess, and it also came with a paper, that I probably left somewhere. Oh, here it is. Came with this paper letting you know that they no longer include the games on the system. So you have to put it, you have to download their files and drop it on a USB drive. As well as whatever else, what other ROMs you want. Which is actually very easy to set up. They put out a video on how to do that. Um, I'll probably show that too. And here's the unit. Now that it's not upside down. Woohoo! I think it's basically looks exactly like the old one. Not sure. So here's the Pandora's box. Wow, it's hefty. It does have a hefty feel to it. This is the box. This is pink. If you were wondering, this is truly pink. And yeah, buttons are they're buttons. I I have a Sandwater replace this. And I do have some Sanwa buttons. I may, I'm, I'm probably going to replace these buttons because they're pink. I don't want pink. Uh, I thought it was red from the pictures, but it, it depends on your, the colors of your screen and everything and all this other shit. Comes with two extra buttons. One pink and one blue one. Um, I bought a second stick. I have one Sanwa stick to replace this with, but I bought a second Sanwa stick. And that one got lost in the mail, so I didn't get it. So I have to buy that again. 
So have on the underside here, we have the, these screws here. I think you can, nah, not really. You just use a screwdriver and pop this off and that should open. I don't know if there's a hinge or anything on the other side. Um, yes, there's a metal hinge right here. And here's the back. Comes with a USB uh, drive to put your games on. Says SanDisk. I don't know if it's really SanDisk, but who gives a shit? Uh, then it has the USB. Two USB ports. One is for putting, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, sending it to a PS3 or a PC or whatever. The other one I'm not sure about. And you have the VGA and the DC. I think I already have that already set up for my Pandora's box clone. It should work, so I don't think I really have to use all that. But that's that. This is it. Um, I'm, I guess this is a speaker. Maybe not. I don't know. But this does feel uh, like a lot better, a uh, lot better quality. Oh, well, here's something bad. <laughs> Had a little bit of a um, a ding. So it looks like somebody must have dropped it. I hope it works. Uh, it's It's been dropped or something. There's some damage on it, unfortunately. Well, that sucks. Uh, as long as it works, it should... I hope that's... I hope it's good. I mean, I could, I could fix it. It's not worth... For me, it's not worth sending it back if it works. But, you know, the, when they deliver things, they like to... You know, do drop kicks on them and shit. So I'm just going to check to see if it works. But that's the unboxing. And it uh, looks very nice. I like the uh, colors and everything. And just uh, want to change out the pink. <laughs> One in the pink. <laughs> All right. So we have... I'm just going to go over the, the buttons here. And I'll figure out if it actually works. Uh, so we have a pause, exit, home select r2 rt so yeah and then we have r1 rb d-pad left stick so you can change this to act as a d-pad or a left stick more than likely for consoles um and then basically the same idea on this side and start and coin and power so power oh cool so i don't have to worry about the switch that's good you know uh, the power's right here, so I can just power it right on. And uh, hopefully it just works, because obviously it's been dropped. <laughs> and uh, it has damage on it, which I'm capable of fixing. It's just, you know, that sucks. Uh, all right. So thank you for watching, and I'm going to be back with more videos. But right now I have to take a shower, because I smell like death. And, um, you know, I'm just tired. So I will test this. If, if it works, I'll let you know in the comment section or whatever. Um, if it doesn't, I'll let you know in the comment section or whatever. And then I'll have to deal with it and it will suck. Oh, thanks for watching.